guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing well. It is extremely early this morning. It is 5.30 in the morning. We're getting up, we're getting ready. We have a fun day ahead of us. But Dave and I got up bright and early to go to the gym. We wanted to get a workout in because I don't think we'd be able to get one in this evening. So we got up early, we're gonna go to the gym soon. I'm just having some breakfast right now. I'm having just a little kind of cereal thing with some banana, a blueberry cliff bar. Those are game changer. They're so good. If you guys have some near you, I recommend trying them. And then with that, I'm having some hemp seed on top. And then yesterday we made our own oat milk, which is so cool and it tastes so good. So we made our own oat milk and I put oat milk in here. So that's what I'm having for breakfast. So I'm gonna eat this up and then we're gonna head off to the gym real soon. All right, also this morning, I'm trying a new pair of leggings and I am very fussy with my leggings. I have to have them like perfect. So we're trying a new pair of old navy leggings. I've been looking for just kind of a cheap pair of leggings because I, you know, my cheap pair of leggings are wearing out. So I need a new cheap pair of leggings, if that makes sense. I like to have a couple cheap pairs here and there because Lululemons get expensive after a while. So my mom actually bought some leggings from Old Navy and I ended up trying on the smaller pair and they fit me. And so I'm wearing them now. They seem to fit. I seem to like them. They're plain black. It's really hard to see in here because the lighting is really dark. It's still super dark out, but they have a little pocket here and they're like high-waisted. And they do cinch in at the waist a little bit. I like to have something that's tight at the waist because I have big hips and so they usually fall down. So yeah, we'll see how they go. They also fit perfectly at the length, like so perfect. So we're gonna see how they hold up in today's workout. I'm excited. They're very compression-y, but I like them. All right guys, so I'm gonna talk to you guys through today's workout. I did the comp train programming. I do comp train programming. I really, really like it. And so we did some comp train programming. I did adjust it just a little bit for my own kind of workout and how it worked for me, but I pretty much stuck to the same thing. I'll have the full workout link down below. You guys can check it out. So we started off with three sets of six lateral box step-ups with a kettlebell. This is really great for stability really great for the legs and also really great for the core this whole three set of exercises is really good for the core and legs and just keeping really good kind of core balance so we did the six box step ups on each side and then we did a 20 second hollow hold and then after that we did some farmers carry for 200 meters and at the 100 meter mark you switch hands so it was a single kettlebell hold on one side you walk 100 meters and then you switch. So that is what I did. Did that three times and you know, it really works the trunk, the core, whatever you want to call it. It works it real good. All right, so the next thing we did was to build to a heavy set of five back squats. I didn't go super heavy on this because I was still so tired. I've been doing a couple morning sessions and I feel like I'm still a little weak in the morning because I just don't have that same energy that I do when I usually work out at noon, but it was good. It still went well. I mean, the back squat, you know, is good. I ended up, I think, getting like 165 and 175 for five reps, which is totally cool. I'm happy with that. It wasn't too light, wasn't too heavy. And David also did some front squats. Him, it was a bit different. He just built up to a heavy set of three.
And then after that, we moved in to the lovely air wrap. This one was not too bad. It was probably pretty good to do this kind of air wrap in the morning. It was originally a nine minute air wrap, but I put it to a 12 minute air wrap. I've been trying to add on a couple more minutes to the programming. So every time there's an air wrap, I try and add on two or three minutes just to, you know, make it a little bit harder. So the air wrap for me was 12 minutes. It was 35 double unders, 25 air squats, and 15 kettlebell swings. I did enjoy this. It wasn't too heavy. And I felt good, like I didn't just completely kick my butt. It was pretty nice for a morning workout. thing I moved on to was just some accessory work. I kept it light, but you know, just wanted to keep my legs going kind of thing. My legs were pretty tired at this point. It was 14 front rack back step lunges and then 20 single leg glute bridges. So I did that for three sets and you know, just kept it kind of easy. And that was the leg workout. So if you want a good leg workout, I recommend trying this. It was, it was pretty good. And I think most people can do this. Maybe switch the double unders for single unders, but other than that, it was a good leg workout. My legs were tired. Okay, so we are back from the gym and we're gonna go get ready because we're heading out very soon. But I want to give you guys a quick little verdict on the leggings. Uh, they are great. I actually really love them and for a really good price. Originally priced, I think they're like $45, but Old Navy has sales like all the time. And I ended up getting them for like 25 bucks, which is great. So these leggings are good. They stay up which is like the number one thing for me. I do not want to be pulling up my leggings the whole time I'm working out. They're very spandexy. The one thing is when you whip yourself on a double under, it hurts, especially when they're like more spandexy. It just like nicks it really hard. So I whipped myself at one point and it just hurt. Maybe because I was tired and I didn't feel like being in pain and it just felt 10 times worse, but it hurts when you whip yourself. And then also the one downfall about these is that it does kind of show the sweat. Some leggings are better at not showing the sweat than others, but these ones do kind of show the crotch kind of sweat. So if you're a big, big sweater, then that kind of sucks, but it's not that bad. Like it shows a little bit, but I mean, unless someone's staring at your crotch, will they really know? I don't know, but I do like these. So I'll have them linked down below if you guys wanna check them out. And yeah, let's get ready and head out. All right guys, we are changed, definitely, that is for sure. We're here at the Chateau Vaudreuil and uh, it's concentrating on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna go do a fun little photo shoot. We're gonna get some photos, behind the scenes stuff. Uh, this is a photo shoot for my sister's company. I'll leave the link down below. You guys can go check it out, but we're gonna go in now and uh, Have some fun. So I'll try and get some footage to share with you guys. So let's go having some leftover homemade 
pizza that we made last night. So we are both extremely exhausted. We're home definitely from the shoot. We spent a couple hours, oh, this is crooked. We spent a couple hours with my our godson, <laughs> our godson, and just hung out with my best friend and just relaxed and chilled, you know, for the afternoon. The shoot went really nice. It was a lot of fun. We had fun, but we are both extremely exhausted right now. So I'm gonna end off the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps the channel. Please guys, it does help. And yeah, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Summer days burn me out. Love just brings me down. Cold inside like when she leaves, I slowly leave the ground. Hey, you come back, I wanna give you a chance Love me like you used to, so we can learn again The skin is getting round, baby